Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. <laughs> no friends, huh? Or'd you just get out of prison? And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Balloons. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Get ready, time for fashion. One. To begin with, Mexican do attitude. What dish could Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 cannibalism? Al Pastor, chorizo, ceviche, or lomo adobada? <laughs> Ceviche is fish. Yeah. Great awesome. idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. This one's known as Mark TV, and it's a dis or dat. Wow, question two. Dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com. An MTV show, or both. If it's a oh, wow. Walmart department, press the X button. If it's on MTV, press the B button. And if you think it's both, press A. Okay, let's move. Bags. Cribs. Mugs. Skins. Juniors. Juvies. Tools. Ooh, you just came up Jersey short. Hey, I'll take it. Walmart doesn't have a jackass department, though. Officially. <laughs> Dance with me, Disco 3. Let's try. Just want to check in. Hey. How do you feel? With the pharynx? With the thoracic cavity? With the pulmonary veins? Or with the thalamus? Uh. Located just above the brain stem, the yes. thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. That's fine, don't ask me how I'm feeling. I asked you how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's it's also with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. Uh, I, I care about what you're this one's called For Whom the Dinner Bell Tolls. Ooh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first, as yeah, prescribed yeah, yeah. by my doctor. Cookie, fortune cookie. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm, if that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog. In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. This was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. Coming up next, I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to exp- Um, excuse me. Where's that confounded right answer? The chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. But as a society, we shouldn't put labels on things like this, except chemicals. You should label chemicals so you don't blow yourself up. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. <laughs> that uh, does it for round one. And you haven't screwed up entirely just yet. That's don't good. forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. 
And don't forget, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. All right, let's get back to Yay. it. I want to find that wrong answer. How about spit up or shut up? If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Lady No, Lady Dada, Lady Cat, or Lady Mama? <laughs> According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far the most popular first word spoken by babies, beating out Mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. Yay. Lady Dada is a good name, right? Please just say yes, because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. <laughs> Question 7! Yeah. Here's a good one. Childhood Murmuries. It looks like we have a sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's, uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. <laughs> I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that scurdy up to the do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. It's Scurdy up to I forget. <laughs> so, what is it you're trying to remember, old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn, and seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Would it be uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Stones? <laughs> you thinking of Conkers, old man? Hey, Conkers, yeah! And it's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seeds called a conquer, and they take turns whacking at them. Three <laughs> whacks per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> All right. It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, minus the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. When was liver invented? <laughs> This one's known as All Rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, Pop, or... I so wanted you to pick this one. Yep. The Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. It makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. That's true. You hopped on the wrong answer. No, I didn't. But also just drifted into winning an assortment of half-deflated balloons from slightly used balloons. Slightly used balloons. Yes. When the party's over, the savings begin. This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Here's one for you. There's a question in my pants, and you're all invited. <laughs> it's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. Okay, as usual, if you get this correct, there's a little extra in it for you. Speaking of extra, put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek revealing to most butt cheek revealing. Thong, bikini, tonga. Bikini, tonga, thong, tonga, thong, bikini, thong, bikini, tonga, or tonga, bikini, thong. What were you thinking there? <laughs> the correct answer is bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than tonga style, and tonga style cover more than thong, which leave your butt cheeks pretty much all out there. <laughs> But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. <laughs> now.
Next up, Feeling Fines. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort? But I'm never certain if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? <laughs> I would know how to pronounce it if it was that easy. <laughs> now pay attention. Yep, Rafe Fine's first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. And his brother Joseph Fines is pronounced Joseph, but it's spelled L-E-S-S-F-A-M-O-U-S. -S -S it's a weird British thing. Huh. Time for the jack. Brace yourself. Okay, if that's how you want it, here's it the clue. I love you like a legal guardian. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of who. So, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will keep playing this. This is a good party game. Um, hopefully I'll actually have some people over and we can do a party because I think that would be fun. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching this live stream of You Don't Know Jack 2015 as part of the Jackbox pack, party pack. Uh, so yeah, good times. Xbox, Snap, Twitch.